喜んでその美しいお姫様をビューティーと名付けました。
cleverest child in the world. She will be the wisest girl that has ever lived. She will pass all her examinations and solve all the most difficult problems easily. This is my gift. Oh, how delightful the lady with them. We are deeply grateful. <laughs> It will be a great pleasure to have such a clever daughter. And we are a stupid man. I quite agree. And my queen is also rather stupid. I agree. We will need a clever daughter to help us rule our kingdom. I am glad you are pleased with my gift. Please enjoy yourself, dear lady wisdom. Thank you very much. <laughs>
You are not that voice, you far exceed the song of all the angels in heaven and the singing of all the birds on earth.
Eda, Ahta. Ahta, hundred years. Yes. That is the best I can do. But maybe less than. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you more than this. Let me add one thing, Your Majesty. To prevent this spell from taking effect, you must banish every pair of scissors from your kingdom. An excellent idea! All the pair of scissors in my kingdom are to be destroyed. Thank you, dear Lady Wisdom and Lady Virtue. Thank you a thousand times. It makes me happy to see you smile again. Your daughter will grow up into a beautiful child. Enjoy your life with her while you can. You will have many happy days together. Her brilliant mind will brighten all the world. Her dancing will delight everyone who sees her. Her paintings will fill the kingdom with joy. Her music will bring comfort to all unhappy people. Her singing will fill the world with a thousand nightingale. And she be beautiful. Oh. As beautiful as a freshest rose. Fairer than the morning sunshine in springtime. My blessings on you, beauty. And now, make the announcement. All the pair of scissors in my kingdom are to be destroyed. Help! Make the king's announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to the king's order. Anyone who owns a pair of scissors must destroy them immediately. Anyone found with a pair of scissors will be put to death. All scissors are...彼女に寄贈するとフレッシュブリーズ。and picking these 
Delightful flowers. Good afternoon, my dear. You gave me such a shock. I didn't see you there. Tell me, what are you doing? I'm making paper patterns. Look, how beautiful. How clever you are, old woman. Do you tell me your name? Yes. I'm Mrs. Flower Heart. I used to be very beautiful like you, but now I'm old and ugly. But your paper patterns are very beautiful. Where do you live, Mrs. Flower Heart? In a small cottage in the forest here. All along? Yes. All by myself. And what do you do for a living? I cut out these pretty paper patterns and sell them in the market. Do you like my patterns? Oh, yes. They are charming. May I buy some to take home? I will give you as many as you like. Everybody says, I'm a clever girl, but I'm sure I could never make pretty patterns like these. Would you like me to show you? Yes, yes, please. Please teach me. How do you cut the paper? With this. What the? I've never seen one of those before. It's a pair of scissors. I use them for cutting things, clothes, cotton, paper, like this. How beautiful! Now, please teach me. Of course, I will show you. Take this paper. Now, follow me. First, you hold the paper like this. This. And this. Then you cut out this part like this and this and this. And see, you've got a pretty paper pattern. Beautiful. Now. Let me try. Here you are. Take the scissors. Oh, there you are, my dear. We've been looking for you everywhere. We thought we'd lost you. Mother, father, look, man, look. This old lady teaching me how to cut the paper. Look, with a pair of scissors, it's fast as you can. These scissors, don't you know for that 16 years? All scissors have been banished from the kingdom. Prime Minister, arrest this woman, put her to death. No, no, I knew nothing about your order. I live alone here in the forest. I never hear any news. You killed my daughter. No, not killed, your majesty. Only put her to sleep. Now she will sleep for a hundred years. How do you know that? You've just said you don't know anything. I know many things, my lord. Who are you, man? I 
Nothing, my lord. I was powerless to move. She's escaped. <laughs> the day of sorrow. Has come. The curse of Ben Blackheart has come true at last. You is sleeping now. We'll never hear her lovely voice again. We'll never see her bright eyes or her dancing ever again. Never, never, never. We will beauty take to the back to the palace, and there she will lie in a beautiful bed, with sheets as white as snow, and there she will lie in silence for a hundred years. <laughs> ビューティーは老婆から借りた そして中に入った二人はついにビューティーが眠っている部屋にたどり着きます。What a mysterious place this is. All these fountain rooms and everything overgrown with tree and flowers. Yes, your highness. It's like something in a dream. I wonder who this palace belongs to. I've never seen it or even heard of it before. We've often been hunting in the forest. We never come this way before. We found this castle quite by chance. Not only chance. I somehow feel that destiny is at work. I feel that long ago it was decided that we should come here like this. I feel that something unusual is going to happen today. Shh. Can you hear? Something? No, nothing. This is her. 
I can still hear it. I can hear. The sound of someone breathing. Listen. I believe I can do. Where is it coming from? From behind us. Exactly 100 years ago, you must kiss her hand. Oh, how difficult! I'm not good at kissing. I don't have enough experience. Oh! <laughs> Did you let me to teach you, sir? Let me kiss her hand. Oh, no, my friend. That won't you do at all. Then we'll wake up and fall in love with you. I am the one who must do the kissing. But, well, I'm shy. <laughs> you mustn't look at me while I kiss her hand. Very well, well, sir. Now, I'll kiss her hand. <laughs> you are taking a long time. How about you kiss her? Yes, hurry up, sir. Be patient. This has to be done carefully. I'm doing my best.
such a wonderful long, long dream. Oh, who are you? I, 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 I am a prince. To, I'm come to, 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 to marry you. To marry me? What do you mean? I, I am the one who has awakened you from your dream. You've been sleeping for a hundred years. A hundred years? So long after? Ah, yes. I remember now. I cut my finger on a pair of scissors. A wicked fairy put a spell on me when I was baby. But that was long ago. Here am I, the prince who came to awaken you. Will you marry me, my dear princess? Of course, my dear prince. Of course, I will marry you. How romantic! <laughs> I'm quite green with envy. Let me introduce you. This is my faithful servant and my good friend. This is my princess, my future wife. Hearty, congratulations! <laughs> Let us return to our castle immediately and tell your stepmother, the queen, about this wonderful happening. Yes, let us go. Come, beauty, come with me. And let us leave this gloomy, ruined, overgrown palace and go out into the bright world of sunshine and happiness. <laughs> Come back before sunset. He is late. He is always late. He is always keeps me waiting for supper. He never think of me or my comfort. Perhaps he got lost in the forest, madam. I wish he could get lost. He is always making trouble. I shall have to punish him. I can hear someone coming. I think they've come back, madam. I should think so. It's about time. Oh! Your Majesty, we have returned. About time, too. Why are you so late this time? We had an adventure in the forest. An uh, adventure? Where is my stepson, the prince? 
He's waiting. He's waiting in the other team by your majesty. He has a he has a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Well, I have a surprise for him. If he comes home so late as this, I won't allow him to have any supper. Well, what what is this one of the surprise of his? A, a lady, madam. A lady? Did you say a lady? What kind of lady? Is she beautiful, young or old? Beautiful or ugly? Tell me. Old and ugly like you, Yamas. Uh, I mean, you can't what to say. What did you say? She's young and beautiful like you, Your Majesty. But perhaps not quite as beautiful as you are. Tell them to come here. If she is more beautiful than I am, I can have way. I have had killed. I'm sorry to be late. Let me introduce to you my future wife. Your future wife? Who gave you a me to be my wife? I won't allow it. I forbid it. What is your name, girl? Beauty, Your Majesty. Where do you come from? Where do you live? I'm sorry, but I don't know. You see, I've been asleep for a hundred years. Your stepson found me today and awakened me. So... It's you! What do you mean, two again? This is a very strange, what does she mean? A wicked fairy put a spell on you, didn't she? She said, you'd cut your finger on a pair of scissors and die. But a good fairy came and changed the spell and said, instead of dying, you'd fall asleep for a hundred years. Yes, that's right. But how do you know all this? How do I know? How? Because... I have come 
then broadcast to put an end to your wicked ways forever. For hundred years, I have been studying with the help of all the fairies how to defeat you completely. And now, we have succeeded. These scissors are more powerful than yours. My power is greater than yours. Lady Wisdom, Lady Lightfoot, Lady Paletta, Lady Melody, and Lady Nightingale appear before us. Come! Yeah, yeah. Lady Wisdom, Lady Then black heart. It's the strength of your life. With my magic scissors, I will now cut it, and then you will die. No, no, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Already you have done too much evil. You must die. No, no, I promise you, I'll never be wicked again. I'm deeply sorry for all the evil I have done. If you give me the chance, I'll make efforts to become a good person. Do you promise? Yes, yes, I promise. I'll become good. Shall we spare her life, Lady Wisdom? Do you believe she will change her ways, Lady Lightfoot? Can we trust her, Lady Melody, never to do evil again? I think we can trust her to be good from now on. I think she may change. Let's give her a chance to live. She gave great unhappiness to Beauty's father and mother, the queen and king. By her own confession, she killed your father and mother. She must be punished for her weakness. What is your idea then, Lady Wisdom? Let a street as beauty was treated. Let them let her sleep for a hundred years. And when she awakens, let her be known as Lady Kindheart. And let her begin a new life of goodness. What? Must I sleep for a hundred years? It doesn't seem a long time, Dame Blackheart. And I had many beautiful dreams. I think this punishment is fair and suitable. Very well, Lady Wizard. Let her sleep for a hundred years. I agree. When I cut this golden ribbon, then black her. You will not die. You will fall asleep for a hundred years. When you awaken, you will have a new name and a new life. Do you have anything to say before I cut the ribbon? Yes. I understand my punishment. And I accept it. Before you cut the golden thread of my life, let me say to everyone, we are I am profoundly sorry for all the unhappiness I have caused. When I awaken after a hundred years, I do my best to make up for all the evil I have done. We are satisfied. Yes, we are satisfied. Now, Lady Virtue, cut the golden ribbon. Here, there, then, black heart, forever. 
next time we meet. You will be very kind heart. There, it is done. I feel my life ebbing away. A great sleep is falling upon me. Farewell, fairies and beauty. Be happy with your dreams. Now she is sleeping like I was. Oh dear Lady Virtue, you've saved us all from evil. How can we ever thank you? There is no need to thank me. Now, you and the priest must marry. Oh. But before that, I have a surprise for you. Now, the evil spell is broken and the hundred years of sleep have disappeared forever. Here then, see, your father and mother are alive and well again, and the Prime Minister too. <laughs> Like a miracle. Now, everyone will be happy forever. Let us sing a song of joy. ここ Assistant Director Ken Promptano H. 
エリーダーリー先生です。5年7組の中川君によるものですそして最後に演出家のバントク先生です I'd like to thank not only those staff but many other people who helped us to make this performance. この劇に協力してくれたすべての皆様に感謝をしていたいと思います。お願いします。I'd like to thank all of you in the audience for coming here today. Thank you very much. それと今日この英語劇を見に来てくれたすべての皆さんにありがとうと言ってます。And I'd like to tell you about the next performance of this group. Next performance will be The Tempest by William Shakespeare. This play is not so well known, but it is full of exciting events, magic, big storm, many wonderful things. Tempest If you enjoyed this drama, we welcome you here to this theatre again in, on December the 23rd in this theatre. この今日の今日やった眠れる森の美女を楽しんでいただいた方は次の英語劇であるテンペストにあの次の英語劇のテンペストが12月23日に公演されます。それに共演<笑>楽しまれた方は<笑>来てください。ありがとうございます。もしよろしければ、よもしよろしければ、えー、アンケートにご協力お願いします。Let's go!